What's up YouTube, Jeff back again today, another very exciting tech video for you guys. And you may know Opera as a browser, but you may not know exactly how powerful it's become in the past few years. From amazing AI tools to help you get work done, to smart tab organization, to floating media players that allow you to enjoy your music and your YouTube videos and other media while you're working. Today, I'm gonna to show you guys exactly how I've been using Opera in my workflow and also in my personal life to organize things that I need to work on. And you'll see while Opera isn't just another browser, it might be the only workspace that you ever need. Opera's design feels clean, modern, and customizable right out of the box. I'm using the Aurora theme right now in my personal setup. It instantly changes the entire browser's background and color tone. It has a beautiful UI that you can use to customize to your preferences. But you also have Midsomar, which offers a refreshing vibe with similar customization in light mode. Midsomar offers numerous unique browser sounds and background music to set the mood while browsing. The sidebar gives you access to all of your various social feeds, your X, your Instagram, you've got Slack, you've got all of your music services as well, Facebook Messenger, everything is there in one little place. You do not need to open a separate application. In 2025, you definitely need an AI tool to help you get work done, and Opera has exactly that. It's built-in AI tool Aria. You can open the command line with Control plus slash or Command plus slash on Mac and ask questions without ever breaking focus. For example, I can ask Aria to summarize the web page that I'm on, and it instantly replies right in line so I don't need to open another tab and lose my focus. You can also use tab commands to stay organized. You could say group all my travel tabs or type close all shopping tabs and Aria handles all of that for you instantly. It's like natural language control for your browser. And Aria isn't just for text commands. It can also generate and understand and give information about images as well. Let's say I want inspiration for a new workspace setup. I'll type create a minimalist studio desk setup with warm lighting and Aria generates it directly inside the command line or I could say generate a render of the latest Galaxy S26 Ultra leaks based on the available information. Then if I drag an image to the sidebar, Aria can also analyze that and tell me where it's from or what style it represents. This is perfect for research or creative projects, which is why I found it so helpful in my personal workflow. If your browser normally looks like mine, a sea of tabs, then this is where Opera's tab organization and tab islands can really come in handy. When you open related links from the current page, Opera automatically groups them into islands. You can also manually organize them by topic. For example, one island for review research, another for your shopping list. You can collapse or expand these with one click to save space in your browser and make sure that you're focused on the task at hand. Opera's tab traces make navigation smarter with the darker underlines indicating the more recent the tab has been used. It's a subtle but really useful touch when juggling multiple projects and numerous tabs. If you combine this with Opera's Workspaces feature, you can really compartmentalize all of your various tasks and projects, work versus personal, shopping versus research, and this really helps you get more done. One of my other favorite features of Opera is the split screen mode, which really helps me get things done. This is perfect for comparing two products or checking data between two pages. I use this all the time while researching articles for Sami Guru or planning a script for my next YouTube review. It's fast, intuitive, and you never need a second browser window. For privacy and security, Opera also has a fast and free VPN built right into the browser, which you can activate with one click. And you get a full featured ad blocker, which will allow you to block all the ads across the web so you get a very fast browsing experience. Of course, you may also want to watch some videos or listen to some music while you're browsing around. Opera has you taken care of there as well. In the sidebar, Opera integrates all your favorite music platforms. You've got Spotify, Apple Music, YouTube Music, and more. You can pop the audio player out into a floating window and move it anywhere, even outside the browser, to control your music while you work. This makes it easy to stay focused on work while still enjoying your favorite tunes. In addition, you also have the video pop-out, which lets you detach a video and keep it floating while you browse. You can keep watching a tutorial or live event while researching or writing. I recently used this feature to watch Samsung's Galaxy XR unveiling event while working on articles for the launch in WordPress. This really made my job a lot easier during launch night. After using Opera as my daily browser and in my daily workflow, I realized it's more than just a browser. It's a workspace really designed to help you get more done and has every tool that you need built right in. Between the ARIA command line, the tab organization, the built-in VPN and ad blocker, Opera really helps you get more done and minimize distractions. 
If you want to see how much smoother your browsing experience can be, click the link in the pinned comment description to check out the Opera browser for a few weeks. Give it a real try. I think you guys will love it. I've switched my browser to Opera on both my Mac and my Windows machine, and I'm loving the experience, getting more done, and it's helping me to be more productive and actually minimize my distractions while I'm working on work for the website and also for my YouTube channel, and also helps me compartmentalize those two things using their tab organizations and workspace feature. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Appreciate you checking it out, and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching.